Welcome to another Rockford UFS video. I'm Chris Smith. Uh, today we're going to discuss deck building and I'm going to walk you through this Woodman deck uh, that I put together in the past couple days uh, with the release of Capcom Platinum. So I guess we'll just jump right into it. Um, everyone builds decks a little differently. Uh, me personally, I start out with the character. A uh, character that I, uh, either it's a symbol or an effect that I like. Um, I'm a huge fan of the good symbol. Um, it's been getting a bad rap uh, for a couple years now, but now it's starting to pick back up and get, get, some, uh, get some really good cards like Woodman himself. Um, I am primarily am a six hand size player, so this, uh, and he cheats his hand size a bit. So uh, as my local players say, I do like free things. Um, so we'll just go ahead and just uh, stick to that right there, put him right there. Um, first part, then next what I normally do is I'll go into um, usually actions and assets and attacks. Um, usually whatever order, um, I see his effect here, it automatically uh, I am drawn to the White House because when uh, you use his E, you bring it in and then you draw a card if that's out. And it has some really good uh, effects. It gives all action cards minus four to their checks. That's why I, um, I would say if you wanna play um, Mike Hardiman's card, uh, How You Like Them Apples, it's either you play apples or you play this, in my opinion. Um, you can reuse apples a lot or you can play the White House and be an eight hand size character because he's technically a seven when he picks a card up from a staging area um, and then puts one face down. Um, this automatically screamed three to me. Uh, I don't know if I would play four, um, but personally I just would just stick with two, uh, stick with three. Uh, it is a terrain, um, so if someone else puts a terrain out, it goes away. Um, it has a nice block at plus two mid. It is a four check though, so that's also another reason why I'd probably just stick to three. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, next, I would go to a uh, new FS Ultra. I usually will go normally go right to the attacks next. Um, and why play Woodman if you're not playing his Leaf Shield? I only own three right now. Uh, I do have a fourth coming, so I, you do play four of this. Uh, this card is dumb in him. Uh, already it's overstatted for cost. It is six damage for five difficulty, which is great. It's a safe attack, which is even better. And it's a dual purpose card. Uh, when you block with it, you get minus two damage to the remainder of your opponent's attacks. And if on offense, it makes it really it makes it plus one more speed because it makes their block modifiers uh, plus one. So really, it ends up being a four high for six, which is pretty stupid. Uh, next uh, is a staple for good uh, for Cowboy Battery. Uh, not much else I could say for this card. It is a six damage for five difficulty. Adds the top card of your opponents. Um, adds the top card of the deck down to the card pool. So. Um, it's basically a four high six, kind of like Woodman's Leaf Shield. Uh, I tr I tend to make if I if I don't have like a two check in the deck, I definitely will find a card that can finish a game off, like Kelway Battery can, um, the Deadlock on Woodman's Leaf Shield can. Um, the other the only other two check I would think I would probably play in this deck is is Rain Flush, because uh, a lot of the attacks have multiple keywords. Um, uh, correction, three of the five attacks I play in this deck have multiple keywords. So if I put Rain Flush in, I would take one of those cards, uh, take out one of those um, attacks that don't have a multiple keyword. Um, next, uh, Cannon Crack. Um, it has a plus one low, uh, so it, and it couples with the low blocks with Cowboy Battery. Um, it has a Deadlock E on it. With Woodman, you are going to force deadlock almost every game, I would say. So it's going to be a eight high eight. Um, if you go Woodman's Leaf Shield, then that it's a nine high eight, and you can discard a card to grab one of your face down foundations. So when you draw the card with White House after you place a face down, you can discard that card that say you drew a foundation. You can pick up the face down if there's an attack. So it has some really good synergy with him which is the reason why I like it. And it's it's an average cost until you get to deadlock. Um, this is built with rulers and time in mind. Uh, this is probably goods um, most, good, goods best utility attack. 
uh, zero mid block, four low four. It draws you a card if you have momentum. Um, has breaker one. Uh, it, is, it is just uh, value city all around. Um, and it gives you a low attack after playing all highs. So you have a mix up zone. And then I play three Ken Sadoken. Um, it's a mid, so it kind of it's really easy to block. But it gives you a first E to draw your a draw card. So you first E, you're back to six cards, you pick up a card from your stage near, you're a seven, you white house, you're an eight, without losing board presence. So um, it's a really good attack just to keep your hand full. Uh, four damage is not bad, um, but you really, your, your meat and potatoes attacks are right here on these three. I try to, um, try to have a decent curve going because you'd go five six six or five you know you just go five the way a typical attack turn would go five six multiple and then this would be like on a seven um seven or an eight uh, it doesn't really matter but uh you if you're if you get your opponent to deadlock they'll die from multiple cannon cracks which is pretty good uh also these other than the fury uh on cannon crack these are all ranged attacks so they will couple with the motivation I have in the deck. Um, so that way you can get snap momentum when you need it to clear card pool on block. So say you block with the Shiki, um, you could uh, pitch it to momentum, which is which is a great uh, way to clear card, board, card pool. Um, normally I also don't, I usually try not to go overboard on the five difficulty attacks because you want your you want to be able to curve out really well if you have to start attacking early game. Um, Woodman's more of a mid, my, my Woodman build is more of a mid to late game deck. So, um, I could probably play Rain Flush, uh, in the place of probably Ken Sudoken if I wanted to, but I'm going to test that out first and see how that goes. Uh, next we're going to move on to the foundations. Uh, I normally try to play about, um, 15 to 20 spam if they're relevant, um, that's one thing a lot of player I see a lot of my local players do is playing spam for spam sake. It doesn't matter what the, the card does. Um, like if you if your spam is minus two speed or destroy for minus three speed, that's really good. Um, that actually has relevant effects late game. It's just the fact that when you have one that says minus one, minus one, like I have it in here, but it's for the high block and the six. Uh, I would love to switch that out for something else because if you're basically just using it for minus one damage because committing it for minus one speed does nothing. Um, but it does have a nice two plus two high and it rolls a six. So uh, the reason why it's in here is because uh, you're going to be playing some higher difficulty turns, uh, attacks later in game. You don't want to commit out your resources. Um, so you want to, when you're looking for... Um, Foundations, you want to try to foundation, find foundations that work with your character abilities and your attacks. Um, he does, a, uh, he allows off the top of your deck face downs to come down. So I had three Shopaholics in. Um, for one commit, it gets you plus one hand size if your attack hits. Um, yeah, there's no throws in here or uh, guaranteed ways to put damage. So I may put uh, What Lies Ahead in instead of Fallen Master, but I'm more running at like. Uh, I believe 12 four checks, which is a lot. So um, I may, I'll go into that later in the video about uh, your checks, about how you want to keep your fours down. Depending on your attack curve, uh, we play a lot of fours in the deck. We have two fives. So um, it shouldn't hurt us too bad playing 12 four checks. Uh, I would probably, I usually try to keep it around 10, 10 to 12, which isn't too bad. Um, this synergizes with his, the character so that's why there's three you want to see this so you can get plus um plus your hand size um i'll go into the quantities why how many each quant uh 400 once more for more snap momentum and it clears itself upon block um it's a card i want to see these are cards that i have four of you want to be able to see those as much as possible you want to see those every game so that's why Shopaholic is at a three. I don't want to see it turn one, but I want to see it turns two, three, four, because then eventually I'll have enough face downs where I can start just plussing all day if my attacks hit. hit. This card's at a four because I need momentum for my Cowboy batteries. Um, 
and I have a couple other cards in here that deal with momentum. Um, so I want to see this. This clears on block, and it, I can just bust a breaker with it. So it's a really good spam card. Uh, the one card I was talking about, Fallen Master, it's going to change, I believe. Um, the commit for minus one, minus one, it, all it really does is give my opponent's attack minus one damage. Because for the committal, I could have just kept it ready to help block. Uh, the plus two high block is pretty sweet, so uh, and it rolls a six. So um, I wouldn't mind checking a six every attack. So that's why there's four in there. Um, and still, all the power attacks are highs, so it's always good to overload on highs. Um, I got three, uh, three zero uh, difficulties, uh, friendly rivalry. Uh, it allows me to, to stack a five, which is great. Um, and uh, it gets minus one damage, so let's say I stack the five block with Woodman's Leaf Shield. I've already negged three damage off my opponent's attack, which is pretty sweet, um, and it allows me to stay alive longer. But normally you don't have to play zeros. Uh, zeros are, in my opinion, they have to be something... You just can't have, like, a zero in there to have a zero. Uh, like, Hazoku Prince, that's a zero six non-block. But the reason why people play it is because you can self-destruct your opponent and they stay out. And then if you're Vega, you can cut yourself. You can manage your own health down to desperation easier than, than relying on your opponent beating you to death. So this is at a three. Um, if I see it, it's great. Um, if I draw it on an attack turn, it kind of makes me sad. But uh, for some tech one uh these are cards that aren't always going to be good in every matchup. I usually don't want more, if you have a spam that has no block, um, you usually only want one, maybe two at most. Um, this is a great card to have a one of, because on block you get to look at the top two cards of your deck, and then you get to just discard any number of them. So if you have attacks on top, you can pitch them. Or if you know your opponent's not going to do anything else. Um, or you can block, search, woodman on their attack. And then stuff an attack down your card pool and your staging area so you can use it on your turn. Uh, this is like a neat little tech one of. Uh, it floods your opponent's card pool when you have more than uh, two, three different keywords. Uh, basically gives all your attacks plus one speed, which is great. Um, it's a momentum dump, so that's always a plus. Um, if, you, if you want, if you're going to have a deck that stacks momentum a lot, you want multiple outlets for dumping. Um, the deck currently has uh, Cowboy Battery, uh, it needs momentum to draw off of Shiki Amiburai, and there may be, I'm, oh yeah, and you also have um, like a good and evil card. Uh, they're decent momentum dumps because you don't want to stack momentum and then no, have, have no way to use it or one way to use it. You want to be able to use your momentum as much as possible because usually mo discarding momentum effects are pretty powerful like this gives basically all my attacks plus one speed which is pretty good and it's non non negatable speed i guess is the i don't know if that's a really good word to use but um the only bad thing is it is on your turn so you do have to plan it out a bit but um it's pretty sweet so and um it is more than once per turn so you can just keep dumping your momentum on every enhanced step if you wish so that's my spam. Like again, like I said again, uh, these are so your build turns turn out okay. Um, the more spam you have in a deck, I think uh, the easier your turn one, two, two, and turn two builds are going to be. Um, depends on what type of player you are. Uh, sometimes, um, like I know with the Woodman deck, uh, it will probably build for two turns before it even starts thinking about poking. Uh, it just depends what the cards come, how the cards come uh, into your hand. Uh, but I believe that uh, a good number of spam is usually about 15 to tw 15 to 17, depending on what type of deck. If you want to go off turn two, you're going to need more. You want to build five on turn one. Uh, this deck, the goal is to build at least four on turn one. Um, that's why there's so much spam there. Uh, now to the meat and potatoes of your uh, foundation base, which is the twos and the threes. Uh, the threes will go over first. Um, I normally try to keep my three difficulties down and around about, uh, depending on what they do, um, between like five and eight. Uh, that may be on the high end. It just depends on what 
uh, they do. Like uh, in this deck, I have uh, four Alpha Male and one DLN 000. Uh, Alpha Male can tutor that out. It can tutor any foundation uh, that I have in my discard pile to my staging area. So that's why there's four of these. I want to see this every game. This is a neat draw two cards, uh, destroy for draw two cards. So I could just keep doing it until I run out of Alpha Males. Um, but the only issue is they have non-blocks, so a lot of times the powerful three diffs will have no blocks. So you have to be careful of on how many no blocks. Uh, that's another thing I'll get into also um, with the video. Um, this allows me to get cards, say if I want to tutor a block for Woodman, it works with Woodman so I can tutor a block. Or it can tutor a powerful effect like this to where I can destroy to draw two cards. So you just want to make sure that, it, also again, it is a four check. So we are running a lot of fours, um, but Woodman also gives plus one to check, so it's not that bad if we check a four, because sometimes it's always, more often than not, it's end up being a five anyways. Um, so these are like the power foundations. You just want to make sure you have uh, good effects on your threes if you're playing them. Uh, like Surveyor would be a good one. That's, that's usually a four of in most decks. Uh, it's a free card for a commit, so or three damage on a low. Um, so yeah, so we'll move on to my twos. Uh, these, like I said, these are the meat and potatoes. Um, motivation combos with all my attacks, except for Cannon Crack, because they're all ranged. Uh, it allows me to get Snap Momentum in uh, for Copyright, Dr. Light, for Cowboy Battery, for Shikiyama Burai, um, for Good and Evil, if I need it. Um, so, um, and it also runs a, a high block, so, it, and it's only a three of, so I don't want to see it all the time, but we like to see it turn two and on. Um, this actually could go to a four of, depending on um, how well it tests out. Uh, another good staple on these three symbols, pull the modigen. Uh This card is great, it gives top deck control, and if I'm in desperation, I can make my opponent just lift an attack multiple times, uh, especially if they check bad, um, it usually doesn't work out very well for them. So it does give some late game help to defense. Uh, one, um, I do have some other four ofs. I have some four ofs here. Uh, Way of the True Warrior. Uh, this card is awesome. Uh, there's not much else I could say other than that. It gets rid of uh, keywords like multiple, uh, powerful, stun, kick, whatever you need. Uh, it gets rid of it for the rest of the turn. So if you want to be able to reverse base, you flip this, reverse base, pick it up on your next turn, replay it, and then you can just keep shitting all over everyone's keywords. Everyone hates to see this card on the opposite side of the board, but loves to play it. Um, it's that good. So that's why it's a four of. I need to see this card every game um, to win. It's just it's a it's a it's a card that helps up helps my winning percentage up. Um, four Sense of Justice, this is da damage reduction. Uh, every attack in the last like two or three sets has keyword spaghetti. So um, to coin a better phrase, I guess, um, I guess that it gives like minus a billion damage if your opponent just goes deep into a turn. Uh, it does give some needed damage reduction that if you, if you use Fallen Master or you use uh, Friendly Rivalry, there is some damage reduction. It does couple with Woodman's Leaf Shield. So uh, if you block with Woodman's Leaf Shield, they're at mi there is minus two damage. Then you use Sense of Justice and call, say they have three stun attacks, it's minus five damage off the top, and it doesn't have a minimum of one or zero. So it could go um, below that, which is great. And it has plus two high, so it's always good. Uh, now we're going into like the tech foundations. Uh, usually I play one or two of these. Uh, I don't need to see them every game, um, but I do need I need them for certain matchups. Uh, one with nature uh, allows me to uh, get extra damage. So like say I discard with um, Kenny Crack or let's say um, I discard to give my opponent's block mod plus two. Um, so it works with that. It, just, it combos with one card, I guess. So uh, if I have the extra cards like from drawing from DLN, I can always just pitch those, which is really great. And it has a low block. A high school crush um, it refills my hand so if I add it with um, if, I, if it comes down normally at the end phase or if I add it in with alpha male I get to see the top card in my deck if it's foundation I get to add it to my hand which is great and it has minus speed and it gives speed reduction something that good doesn't have a lot of 
other than that, and um, I may be blanking on a couple cards. Um, formidable task. Uh, it's in here because it clears block. It clears on pound block, and I'm able to seal the tax so I don't get infinite Avid, or I'm able to seal Shield Ram, or any other Earth attack that's like a throw. Uh, this is another another neat uh, tech card. Um, it blocks multiples for free, basically, so that's really good, and it sets stuff, if something's too fast, it can set stuff back to print speed, and good and evil. Um, another momentum dump, it gives somewhat of a minimum, uh, a min max, uh, sorry, not a min max, it gives a minimum, uh, a minimum of one damage reduction and speed reduction. Um, this card, uh, will help win games because it cancels responses on non-character cards, so that's really good. Um, as you guys can see, uh, the deck is, um, mostly foundations, that's usually how a deck goes, obviously, um, but, uh, you want to make sure that you have your block spread also. You want to make sure you check out your block spread as you build after you build your deck your after you build your first deck and you're looking at the blocks. You want to make sure you have enough block coverage. Uh, something about Woodman is he can kind of cheat his block coverage because he can pick up any foundation he wishes. Uh, which is really cool. Which is a neat effect. Um, he may be, he is the best character in Platinum right now, I believe. So, um, let's check out the block spread here. I know I play like 15 non-blocks, which, is, which isn't too bad in, in a character that can tutor up cards from his staging area. So, let's take a look and see what we got here um, for blocks. Let's move you over here, Woodies. Um, so, we're looking at more there... There, there's a plus one low, that's awesome. Here's some plus zero mids, plus two mid. Okay, so if you look, um, normally when you build the deck, your mid blocks are always gonna be the most, um, normally, I should say, normally, because I've had decks where highs, I've had like 32 highs and single digits on lows and mids. You wanna be uh, mindful about where your block spread is because um, you wanna be mindful of high attacks because all the power attacks, uh, flying spear, Still Tangu Dive, Woodman's Leaf Shield, um, are heavily played. Uh, I would say Power Stone's going to be coming up, so you're going to want to make sure you have good low blocks. Also, um, again, like with Woodman, like, like I said, with Woodman, he could cheat his block spread because he can just start snapping stuff up. Once uh, He can start sculpting his block hand, I guess, if you want, that for a lack of a better term. Um... So you just want to be mindful of how you build your deck. Um, normally, your foundations are going to have plus threes on them. That's fine. You you just can't deal. You, you just got to deal with it. Uh, if your symbol has really good plus twos or even ones on them, um, that's even better. Uh, you just want to be mindful of your block spread. You want to be mindful of the effects on the cards if they have effects on block. Like I had a guy block with design flaws, and he committed himself out because. Um, he forgot that it commits a foundation upon block and I killed him. So, uh, this is a while ago. It's a long time ago that happened. So, um, so you just want to be, like I said, um, make sure your block spreads good. Uh, make sure your foundations actually work with what you're trying to do. Um, that's another tip. Uh, make sure you have a momentum dump if you want to accrue momentum. Um, and remember that, um, that if you don't need momentum just to get rid of it right, uh, maybe you can stash some, act like you have momentum effects. It's part of the mind games of UFS. Um, and I'm saying um a lot, but like I said, I just shoot from the hip at these things. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, so rule one is always make sure your character works with the cards inside your deck. You don't want to have like a, a kit. Like I would love to put a reversal like Spregio in this deck. Um, I, have, I, like, I want to test this out as it is, so because that plus three damage is screaming to be on a reversal, um, because basically right now I'm basically ignoring his e his his e commit for three damage because I want to be able to pick up stuff on my opponent's turn uh, if I need a block. So um, I challenge you guys to go out uh, build a deck. Uh, if you want us to do like a deck therapy type thing, uh, feel free to uh, send it into rockfordufs at gmail.com. 
or ufsrockford at gmail.com. I don't remember. Or you can just post it to this site, or you can just privately message me on Facebook. That's fine, too. And uh, I just want to say thanks for watching, and take it easy.